Hello! In today's episode of She Digs DIY, I'm doing another repair on our vehicle. I cannot stand to pay somebody to do something that I know I'm perfectly capable of doing, and I hope that this uh, series of videos will inspire some other ladies out there to also feel confident in taking care of some of their own home and even automotive repairs. So uh, this time I'm working on changing the driver's side door handle on the inside of our car. I was out the other day, pulled the handle, I heard a loud popping noise and then it wouldn't open the door. So I uh, did a quick Google search of course and figured out what I needed to do. I've got the part that I ordered from Amazon. It was only about $20 and uh, I'm now down here in the garage ready to make the repair. So I'll take some clips along the way and show you what I'm doing. The vehicle we have is a 2012 Ford Fusion and as you can see here the um, piece in the back of this handle inside the door um, has broken off so it's the cable no longer pulls to open the door latch um, when you pull the handle. So there will be a few things that I'll have to do and that's we have to take off this screw here. There's also one down here inside the uh, little handle here and there's a couple of others um, one on the underside and a couple on the side that I'll have to uh, remove so I'll get to work on those and uh, help let you follow along while I'm working on it so for this part right behind the door handle here there's this little cover piece of plastic here and so you just need something like I've used this tiny uh, sort of eyeglass or computer repair um, flathead screwdriver to just pry it out and then you have your Torx screw inside there. So now that I have this little cap pried out so that I can access the screw, this is a Torx size 20 um, screwdriver bit here and that's the size that you need to take this screw out. As with any sort of disassembly, you always want to make sure that you put your screws that you're taking out in a safe spot so they don't get lost and you're not able to find them after. So I'm just going to put those right inside the floorboard. So here in the door handle area, we had this little sort of cover piece that goes down in here just to cover up the screw hole. It's a little bit hard to see because it's dark and I'm in the garage, which doesn't have the best lighting to begin with. But you take that off, it exposes the screw down in here and this requires a seven millimeter uh, socket. And, and then you just go down in here and undo it. And then we're on to the next one. The next spot where we have to remove a screw to get this door panel off is right here on the left end. So you can see the handle is over there and this is just on the top of the left end. So this is also a Torx 20 screw here. And then once you get it going, it should come out just fine. So the last screw that you have to take out is on the bottom and it's inset just a little bit, but it's also a Torx 20. And uh, so once you get this off, you should be able to then start to pry the door panel off. There are some plastic tabs that you'll have to, um, to pry loose, but you can be careful with those so you don't break any of them off so that when you put it back on, it'll still be nice and secure. So now we've got the panel pried off. Now, some um, videos that I have seen will have you disconnect the, the wiring for the lock and all that stuff. And you just don't need to do that because it just hangs there and you have access to what you need to remove to replace the handle. And with the door panel removed, you have the handle assembly exposed. So then all you need to do is um, 
just take this eight millimeter uh, bolt out with an eight millimeter socket and once you remove that then the whole assembly will be free and then the next thing you have to do is take this cable off here which we will look at here in a minute once this is off Now that we have the handle assembly removed from the door, you just have to pull up on this thing to break that free. And then this other part of the cable right down here, you just turn it around a little bit so that you can lift it out. It's kind of more difficult to do with one hand, but you get the idea. <laughs> So here we have the new part, which like I said cost about 20, I don't know, 22 dollars on Amazon. That's Amazon.ca, so it's probably even cheaper on Amazon.com. And we will just attach the cable on the back in that little slot there, hold it down in there, and then reattach it to the door. Now that we have the cable reattached and the little plastic end snapped in there to hold it in place, then we're just going to tighten up this eight millimeter socket to get it back attached and then we can replace the door panel. And then you're just going to pop the door panel back on and replace all the screws that you took out and then you'll be done. Easy peasy.